It is me, Random Ross, and this is my trailer reaction to the longly anticipated Halloween. Now, <clears throat> this is the 11th installment of the entire franchise, but uh, it is a direct sequel to the first one. It is going to ignore the events of all the other Halloween movies, and it is just going to be a direct sequel to this one, uh, to the first one. But yeah, let's let's stop with the chit chat and let's let's get my reaction away. So uh, I've got it up right here on my TV. So let's begin. I've waited for him. Okay, here we Testing go. one, two, three. Yeah. We're on. We're here to investigate a patient that killed three innocent teenagers on Halloween in 1978. He was shot by his own psychiatrist and taken into custody that night. And has spent the last 40 years in captivity. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. <laughs> So that's where he's been. Everyone in my family like turns into a nutcase this time of year. Yeah, I mean, your grandmother is Laurie Strode. She was almost murdered. Wasn't it her brother who murdered all those babysitters? No, it was not her brother. That's something that people made up. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? Who the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Dad, look out! The bus crashed. Mom, what bus crashed? Michael escaped. Excuse me, somebody's in here. Hello? The shame. And he seems to kill the mechanic and got his boiler suit. He's waited for this night. He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Get out! Go on! Get inside! You don't believe in the boogeyman? He's here! Michael! You should. Can you close the closet door? Okay, so let's stop closing the door. <laughs> Halloween. October 19th. Um, okay, so... Um... That was my uh, reaction to um, Halloween. Um, I think it was going to be called Halloween Returns, but it seems now it's just going to be called Halloween. Um, I have to say, I like what I saw. I did like what I saw. Um, you know, Nick Castle is back in the role as Michael. Uh, I like what I've seen. So basically, after Halloween, when he got shot and fell back out the window... Um, because this is ignoring the events of Halloween 2 as well. Uh, Michael got, um, well, taken back to Smith's Grove, and that's where he's been for the last 40 years. 
and yeah, he he got out and about and just did some crazy shit. Um, basically, he's back on the prowl. I mean, they've done good to lock him away and keep him there for forty years, but yeah, now he's but now he's escaped. Uh, a lot of people like. I like the mask. I do. I really like it. It looks a lot like the original, but all tattered and worn out and everything. I just like what I saw in that trailer. I I, I was having second thoughts about this, thinking, "Oh, is this going to be good? Will they ruin it? All that, that and stuff." But I have to say, I'm impressed with what I've seen so far. Um, JB Lee Curse, she's like. Laurie Strode in it uh, again obviously and she's been preparing for 40 years she's been getting herself at the ready you know getting ready to kill Michael and stuff training herself and that we've got Judy Greer in there as Laurie's daughter not Jamie Lloyd I can't remember what her character's called now uh, like I said it's ignoring all that <coughs> excuse me and um, I'm thinking is that psychiatrist guy Kenneth Branagh I have to look it up on uh, and that, but yeah, bravo! I have in I did enjoy that trailer. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Did you like this uh, reaction I did? Uh, if so, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All my social media links are down below in the description. So until next time, don't have nightmares.